Hello, my name is Scott McDonald. Today is the 23rd of July. Um, I'm the owner of a 1975 Groove 150SS made by Slickcraft. Um, I operate my boat for fishing purposes uh, out of the El Dorado boat launch about four days a week. Um, I've come to know your associate, Scott, a uh, young fellow, uh, quite well. He sees me coming in and out. I see him going in and out with your boats. Um, he's a really good guy, by the way. Um, anyway, uh, today I was involved in a collision uh, with one of your pontoon boats. Uh, it's like a black gray. I have a picture of it. I have the registration number. Uh, it was operated by a woman uh, by the name of Stephanie. Uh, and I just want to go over some of the damages and then I'll explain what happened. So I have a video that I shot in this very location. This is at my storage uh, unit at uh, the U-Haul on Enterprise Way. So the lighting's the same. Uh, the video is going to be the same. The video is about installing that snub roller. I had just polished the boat on the 9th or maybe a day before and it shows all the side of the boat so you can see the damage that was not there before and make a comparison. So basically all this signature scratch all the way down the side of my boat, this is like it's all fresh, right? Like you can still feel the chunks in it. So there's this nice signature all the way down the side of my boat. It's 1975. Um, it's been in and around my family for like 40 years. It's got a lot of use on it. It was a, a runabout turned fishing boat. I know it's not perfect, but it was a lot nicer looking on the side than this. So what had happened was I was tied up facing the shore at the El Dorado boat launch on the very lawn dock to the left. Um, I used my fenders and my tie downs on front and back. My girlfriend had to go to work, so I just dropped her off. She had just gone out of the boat. Um, there was a pontoon boat. I did not know who the owner was at the time. About two pontoon boats of length uh, towards the launch or the shore facing me. People were getting on it. Um, and I was still unloading uh, the materials Heather's fishing rod and yada 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 out of the boat. When it started to pull forward, um, it started to go to the starboard side, like to go around me, but just never made it. And it just plowed all the way down the side of my boat, lifting my boat right up. Fortunately, I was standing on the dock side, so I didn't fly out of the boat, um, but it rubbed the whole side down. Um, I then grabbed onto the back of your boat uh, because it did not look like it was going to stop. Um, they did stop. My girlfriend was like, what, what the heck's going on, blah, blah. I took a picture of the side of your boat uh, and the operator, Stephanie, which I can include in this. I will also include the uh, video shot on the 9th of the boat, uh, pre-damage. Anyway, um, they were apologetic. I said, is this rental boat? I said, yeah, one of boat rentals. And I said, okay, I know those guys, meaning Scott. I knew I'd bump into them eventually. So I checked for any major holes or anything like that. And to calm down, I just went back out fishing. Uh, I caught a big five pound trout. So it's kind of a good day, but um, long story short, I would like to be compensated in some way. I understand that this boat is old. I do understand that it does have damage. Um, but this boat means the world to me. I take exceptional care of it. And if there could be, I don't know, something done. I don't expect it to get painted or anything like that. Um, I'm not asking for that kind of stuff because it's unreasonable, but I would like to have something dealt with. Okay, so I will get a hold of you on the phone and uh, I can get your email from you at that time. And then I can include the before, the after, and picture of the five pound truck. All right, you have a good day. Thank you very much, bye-bye.